Hola guys. Today I want to discuss sexualities and different types of sexualities. So let's jump into that. First thing is finding your sexuality. I don't think finding is the right word. I would say how you feel when you're with someone. So like let's say you're a guy and you're with another guy a lot all the time and you're hanging out and you feel as if you could see yourself dating this guy then that's helping you find your sexuality second is what you like um there's stem there's fem and there's stud and those usually apply to girls so if you're a guy and you're watching this video, I'm sorry, this part isn't really for you. Don't click anywhere else. If you're a girl and you like other girls, well, there's different types of other girls. There is femme. Femme is short for feminine. And feminine is really just um, a girl who like wears dresses and likes to put on makeup and like high heels and purses there's also stem and stem is that girl that in between you know she's like she's stem and she's stud now stem um they might like they might wear a dress or they might wear high heels or makeup or sometimes they might want to you know change the high heels for like some converse or in the dress for some pants maybe they don't want to wear makeup that day I mean stems like they go like either way they're like both they're hand in hand and then they're stud now studs are usually easy to spot because they're, they're a girl sometimes studs wear like really baggy clothing I'm not gonna say all studs but the studs that I've seen usually wear like really baggy pants and big shirts and you know those are your studs third is who you are and if you have a different sexuality besides straight and let's say you're gay that doesn't mean that that's going to make you like who you are you could be a gay guy and you might not want to wear like high heels and everything like you want to wear makeup like people say gays do um you could be you could play sports you could not like rainbows you might not like all kinds of stereotypical gay things there's this youtuber and his name is Davey Wavy and I love him and you guys should subscribe to him he has a YouTube called Gay Myths and Busting Them, like a gay myth buster. Um, and you guys should watch the video because it talks about, like, not all gay myths are true. So I'll leave a link for that video, like, in the underbar thing. Next topic is sexualities, and there's many different sexualities. They're straight, gay, bisexual, transgender, lesbian, and pansexual. Um, I'm sure you all know what straight is. Lesbian, I'm, I'm sure you know what that is. Um, and gay, and bi. Um, now pansexual. If you don't know what pansexual is, it's sexuality where, say, I was pansexual. Now, I'm not saying that's my sexuality, but to help you guys better understand, for those of you who don't know what it means, pansexuality is when you don't really care about gender. You would date someone who was, like, transgender. Like, you don't care about the gender of a person at all. You just you're dating someone because you love them and I think that that's pretty good I don't know about you guys but I think that is a great sexuality to have I have a question for you guys do you think that pansexual should be included in the LGBT 
acronym. I I think it should because pansexuality is also one and it's pretty common. So I just I think that it should be included. But how would that be how would they work? How would that work? Would it be like P L G B T or you know somewhere in there with all the other letters but included. Think that pansexuals should be included, then tell me why. And if you don't, then tell me why. And also leave a comment in the comments box and tell me about a sexuality that I didn't include in my video. Um and tell me about it so I can learn from you guys. So see you when I see you.